Right. Is my eyelash wonky in these glasses? Last time I did a backslide attack, I had to go to the clinic. Um, Round bottom. Again, I'm telling you, science is sexy. Editor, cut the tapes. Next. That's you. Future, That's a note for later. Future me? Uh -huh. Hello everybody and welcome to Adams and Bonds. My name is Adam Rosenzweig and this is the show where I, a real life scientist, conduct a chemistry experiment with a fabulous lab partner. Today, on our first ever episode, I have the great pleasure of being joined by entertainer, activist, and comedian, Kiki Balchain. Hi! Kiki, thank you so much for joining me in the lab today. I'm so happy to be here. Awesome. Uh, tell us a little bit about you. Well, I am the f***ing popping political pot smoking queen of NYC. <laughs> um, I have been doing drag for four years. Mm -hmm. I studied science in high school. Yeah. <laughs> and that was the last time I took a science class. All right, well that's perfect, because my next question is, what is your experience with chemistry, science in general? Um, I think I got a B in chemistry. <laughs> I don't know, I watched Breaking Bad once. Perfect. Yeah. All right, so the blue thing that we're making today uh -huh. is a dye, and it's called uh, malachite green. Okay. Which is misleading. But um, it's a dye and it uses a very cool mechanism to make called a Grignard reagent. So to learn a little bit of the background of what, what we're doing today, I prepared a short presentation. So we're gonna go into the classroom for a little quick lecture. We made it. <laughs> All right. So as a scientist, I can't let you leave here without giving you a lecture. You're not gonna let me leave? To begin, why is it called Grignard. That's a weird name. I have no idea that's why I'm here. As all very notable reactions are, it's named after a person. So it's named after a French chemist named uh, Francois Auguste Victor Grignard, and okay. he discovered this reaction and the chemistry behind it, and he won the Nobel Prize in 1912 for it. Wow. He won the patch. Yeah. Anyhow, so the fundamentals of this reaction, does this look scary? Um, no, it kind of looks like chemistry class. I remember all this. Uh, o is oxygen. Yes. I know that. C is carbon. Yes. N is nitrogen. Absolutely. MGBR, I don't know, that looks like manager bathroom break. Or something <laughs> like. So what this reaction does is it uses an organometallic molecule to make a carbon-carbon bond. When I say organometallic, it's a big scary word, but it can be broken into two halves. So organo refers to organic, so that is in this molecule here, this half, which has the carbons and the nitrogens, uh -huh. that's the organic half. Uh -huh. And this half that has the manager bathroom, uh -huh. also known as magnesium and bromine. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Is magnesium. the metal side. Uh -huh. So what this guy does is it can attack by backslide attack. Wink, wink. Yeah. So the important part from all this that I want to focus on is that basically carbon with this little metallic bit uh -huh. attacks that carbon uh -huh. connected to the oxygen uh -huh. and it forms a bond between them. So that's what we're doing here today. So in the context of what we are doing making our malachite green. These are the- That'd be a great drag name. Malachite green? Yeah, for like a drag king. Oh yeah. Malachi, Malachi green. Uh, we're using this reaction today to use these starting materials to make this final product. I thought you said we weren't working with meth. It's <laughs> <laughs> our little sister, methyl. Um, the important ones in these three that I've listed are these two main guys right here. This is our solvent. So it's important in that uh, she's present, but she's not participating today mm. in the overall I know a few scenes like that. What I would like you to be able to observe from looking at our starting materials to looking at our product is that you can see the structural elements of the starting materials in the product. So you can see there's this ring, nitrogen, and these two other little guys. Oh, I've seen rings. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then that looks like that branch right there. Uh-huh. And it also looks like that branch over there. Oh, wow, look at that. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And then this ring from the methyl benzoate up there uh -huh. is this ring right there. Okay. So all of these are going to combine using the mechanism we just talked about uh -huh. to build this big Y-shaped guy. And what makes this cool is that this molecule is very brightly blue colored. It's very vibrant and very pretty. But our starting materials are nothing of the sort. This is a white powder. Mm -hmm. This is a clear liquid. Now what kind of white powder are we talking about here? I was waiting for that one. But it begs the question, how are we going from something that has absolutely no color and we're ending up with something that's incredibly vibrant? Mm. And the answer to that is a molecular property called conjugation. As in normal science, they love to give big fancy names to things that aren't that difficult to understand. Mm. So what conjugation means is alternating single and double bonds. So in these two little examples that I've drawn, this guy is conjugated because you can count double, single, double, single, double, single. Sounds like my drink order at the bar. Uh -huh. Absolutely. And then this guy is not conjugated because 
we break that pattern because the double bonds move over here, so we have two single bonds in a row. And basically what this does is when a molecule is very vastly conjugated with a lot of alternating single and double bonds, it provides the electrons in the molecule with a lot of different energy states that they can rise to. But the electrons only become excited when they are delivered energy, and they're delivered energy in the form of light. Mm. And the color that bounces off objects like clothes or counters or anything um, are all of the wavelengths of light that are not absorbed by the molecule. Okay, so for instance, the whole rainbow bounces off, off of the molecule that we're building, our malachite green. Uh-huh. And the only one that's not absorbed is blue. Is blue. I got it. And so that's what we perceive. So the takeaway message is mm -hmm. are that we're using a Grignard reaction today, mm -hmm. and we're making a colorful product that is colorful because uh -huh. it is conjugated. That's enough talk. Let's get back into the lab and actually get cooking. To the bus! <laughs> well, we're back. We're back. All right, so now we're actually going to start doing some science, but the most important thing about doing any science at all is proper lab safety. So mm. we're going to go get adorned okay. in the necessary looks. Okay. And then we'll get cooking. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, I, I kind of like, I'm feeling my fantasy. Yeah. Let's get in this hood. Okay. Oh. <laughs> First, we are going to introduce all of our reagents. So, we have our solvent for the day, which okay. is tetrahydrofuran. Tetrahydrofuran. Also uh. called THF. Ooh. We have uh, uh -huh. magnesium. Uh -huh. Look at that. Uh -huh. She's giving shows. She's giving shows. shows. Iodine, pure iodine. This is the white powder. Uh, this is. You can do it. <laughs> Four bromo in in. Dimethylamine. Dimethylanolin, that was so yeah. good. Anal, it says A-N-A-L, analine. Who All said right. that science isn't fun? Yeah, uh, honey, this is just called K in the game. <laughs> well, <honey>. Methyl benzoate. <laughs> this is 10% HCI. I think I know what that is, hydrochlorine. So yes, 10% yeah. hydrochloric acid in water. This is gonna be our reaction vessel, uh, a 125 milliliter round bottom flask. Um, Around bottom. Mm. Okay, water is the enemy in this reaction. Okay. So we want to keep everything as dry as possible. So what I've done is I've washed this and then I've rinsed it all with acetone and then additionally I put it in an oven overnight uh -huh. to just make sure that this is like super dry. Mm. And then I put a cork on it, but I have this bar in it as well. And then what the bar does is that when I put it over this plate, <gasps> it does the stirring Whoa. for us. Okay, so let's start putting together. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our magnesium, okay, and we're just gonna throw that right in there. These are magnesium turnings, which are just little shavings of, mag of pure magnesium, okay, and they're perfectly fine to touch. Okay, you can touch if you want. I just want. Okay, can I put it on my eyes? Mm. Probably not. Not everything's makeup. Okay. okay. All right, everything in the pool. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do is just to get everything kind of like moving and grooving in there. Uh huh. I'm gonna add one. You're gonna play Dua Lipa. I'm gonna add one like teeny tiny little crystal of iodine. It doesn't need much, just a dash. Okay. It's like when a recipe is like, just a, t just a pinch. Uh huh. Okay. That's like a science pinch. Yes. All right, so we have magnesium. Okay. We have iodine. Okay. Next we need to add the 4-bromo NN dimethyl aniline. The anal, uh huh. Uh huh. So I just, just dump it all in? that bad boy. Tip it right in there. Okay. Are you sure? Okay. Yep. Just like this? Yep. Right in the funnel. Okay. Yep. You can tap it against the funnel as well. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Oh, that's why the cork thing is there. This is where things get surgical. Okay. So, as I mentioned, water is the enemy of this reaction. Uh huh. And so, to keep water out of this reaction, we use a solvent that is completely dry. Kind of like your vagina. <laughs> Killing me. Okay, so. You're about to kill me with that needle. <laughs> Here is our solvent. It has this nice little uh, cap on top that keeps air and water and moisture out. Uh -huh. But we want to keep it that way. So, this is a balloon full of argon, okay. which is an inert gas. So, I put that over here so that while I'm removing solvent, what's replacing it volumetrically in here is an inert gas instead of the air that's all around us, which is full of. Oxygen and moisture. Copper. Yes. Uh -huh. And what kind of air is in there again? Argon. Argon, okay. So, what? As in, I wanted to make a chemistry joke, but all the good ones. Argon, oh. 
right into the flask. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, it's turning in color. So, next, we're gonna use this big guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> to smoke out of? So this is called a reflux condenser. Okay. So what we're gonna do is this is going to sit on top of here. Uh-huh. Like that. Okay. This one's like crazy looking. Normally it doesn't have all this like swirly gates. I've done it works. So that will just provide a place for the vapor of the solvent that we're going to be heating to recondense and run back down and drip back into the original solution. So that way we can heat it. And, with... this, and this is where I put my mouth. So we're gonna go get this set up uh, at reflux and we'll be right back when it's all done cooking. All right, so uh, that just refluxed for about 30 minutes, and now our solution has assumed this beautiful, dirty mop water color. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's a good thing, because a lot of uh, Grignard reagents, so other reactions that use the same procedure that we're doing now, uh -huh. this is the color that they turn. We are on the right track. Okay. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add our next ingredient. I'm gonna have you do that. Of our, course, our, our meth. <laughs> our methyl benzoate. I will have you use this oh, dropper uh -huh. and pipetter just to honey it's drop, drag. drop that right this is down like, in here. Are all these this exaggerated or is this just for me? <laughs> Why do you need a tube this long? Hey, okay. and get it a little close okay. and then just drop how, how many? Oh, the whole thing. Oh, it's all pre-measured. Okay. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, getting a little more color change in there going from a dirty mop bucket, and now it's like this nice kind of, what would you call that, swampy? I would say that's like Trek Swamp Green. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna pop it back onto the heat for just like five minutes, just to make sure that everything's done all of its jobs, and then we'll come back for the grand finale. It's giving shows. It's okay, so we're back from our last little five minute cook. Um, our reaction is now this like kind of uriny color. Yeah, it's a Red Bull color. Yes. Red Bull. And it wants to be green so badly. And so we're gonna get it there with adding our last our last little ingredient, okay. which is our 10% hydrochloric acid. So I'm going to very carefully add it. Okay. And you shall observe the magic. <gasps> Whoa. Yeah, right? Wow! Whoa. Oh, is our dye. Work! Look at that. Yeah, so that's our finished dye. Cool! Um, you were asking earlier about what we can do with it. Uh-huh. So we can, I do have some little paper, um, cloth strips. Take this. Okay. And just get it right in there. All right. Yep. Okay. I'll, I'll lead you in. You think you can make an outfit out of that? Yeah, uh, this will be my G-string. <laughs> <laughs> Beautifully custom colored. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, right? Beautiful. Pretty cool. Alright, well thank you all so much for watching the first ever episode of Adams and Bonds. Uh, thank you so much to Kiki Ball Change for joining me in the lab and doing some science with me. Kiki, where can we find you out in the world? You can find me uh, on social media at Kiki Ball Change. Follow me on social media and find out where I am. Awesome. I'll put all of your social media, including your Venmo, in the description of this video. I encourage everybody to use said Venmo. Because or Cash App. You know, not all, everyone has Venmo. The uh, most important thing is person. that in this lab, we tip our queens. Um, and you can follow me at Adam the Chemist on Twitter and Instagram. And hope to see you real soon with some new experiments. Bye. Bye.